In this video, I'm gonna be giving you five tips to get more out of your Synology MR2200AC mesh Wi-Fi router. Hey guys, Jonathan here with Tech Quiz Time, where I help you save time and money when it comes to gaming and technology. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a few tips and I'm gonna get started right now. So, tip number one, I highly recommend you getting yourself a USB 3 thumb drive. And when I say USB 3, I mean the USB 3 speed thumb drives because the USB 2 ones are a little bit slow. USB 3 is obviously a lot faster, but these Synology MR2200AC mesh routers actually have a USB 3 port on them. And by putting a USB 3 USB drive on these, you're actually expanding the storage available to you with them. So currently I've had a look on Amazon and you can get a SanDisk 128 gigabyte, the little slim ones for $17 or the Samsung 120 gigabyte ones for about 21. If you're looking at going up to the next 256 gigabyte models, then you're gonna be paying about double the price. So just keep that in mind. So like I mentioned, by adding these to the MR2200ACs, you do expand the storage that's available on these, which means that you can store things like videos, photos, or music on them, and you can stream them across your network, as well as install a few packages, which brings me to tip number two. So tip number two is that you can download the download station package. So what this package allows you to do, it allows you to download files from HTTP, FTP, NZB, or BitTorrent. And it will do that directly to the unit with a USB stick plugged into it. See that brings you back to tip number one. How awesome is that? Another cool feature with download station is that you can set it up with RSS feed so you can download the latest torrents automatically. Pretty much set and forget, you just leave it there and it downloads for you. So my next tip is tip number three, and it's to download the media server package. Now by installing this on your MR2200AC mesh router, you will be able to stream video, photos, or music directly from your MR2200AC. So again, this ties into tip number one, where you need a USB stick. So by plugging that in there, you'll be able to use the media server package. And if you use something like Download Station and you're downloading music or movies or anything like that, then you can also use that package as well. So it ties in with tip number one and number two as well. How many as wells can I say? All right, so tip number four is to install or set up Safe Access. Now this package allows you to have complete parental control over your home or business network. So what this allows, it allows you to set internet schedules up so as an example, you know, cut the internet off at nine o'clock or something like that of an evening. You can also set up time quotas so they would only be allowed access for two hours, three hours. And the other one is to set up web filters. So if there's any questionable sites that you don't want your kids going to, then this is the perfect package for that. And lastly, tip number five is to set up a guest network. Now, say for example, you've got some family or friends coming over and you really don't want to be giving them your personal Wi-Fi password, then what you can do is you can set up a guest network on the MR2200AC, and this will allow them to connect to that without needing your main password. So another cool thing with a guest network is that you can set up schedules. So this will mean that the internet gets cut off, especially if there's you know kids staying. The guest network can have the internet cut off at eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night, so that way they're not continuing to get access flickering light, even when they're in bed on their phones or tablets. And another cool feature of a guest network is that you can allow or deny access to your local network. So say for example, you're storing private uh, photos or files or anything like that. Anyone that jumps onto your network can gain access to that, especially if you've shared the folder. If you don't allow this on the guest network, then it means that they don't have access to that at all. So any of the files that you're sharing on your normal Wi-Fi network won't get shared on the guest network. How awesome is that? So those were my five tips for people out there that have or are looking to get the Synology MR2200AC mesh Wi-Fi router. If you've got any other tips or yeah, wanna share some experiences that you've had with the router itself, then make sure you leave me a comment down below. If you wanna help support this channel, then you can in three different ways. One of them is to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Another way is to share this video on Reddit, Facebook, or Twitter. And the third way is to make a small monthly contribution to our Patreon campaign. Also, don't forget to like this video. And if you made it this far, then yeah, huge thanks. Not many people do. And yeah, it means that you're a real true fan. 
So thanks again, guys, and as always, imagine, learn, create.